everybody. So how do you know when you've reached peak idiocy? When we now need diversity guidelines for clearing landmines. It seems Canada has just donated four million bucks toward an effort to clear landmines in Ukraine, but in a gender inclusive manner. Because if there's one thing we can agree on concerning the war in Ukraine, there simply isn't enough gender inclusive mine action, right? <laughs> but let's be clear up front anyone in charge of clearing landmines is way braver than I am. I can barely clear my driveway. And if it's something you accept as your job, I don't care if you're white, black, gay, trans, or identify as a Cabbage Patch Kid. But it's, oh, look at that. But <laughs> how did anybody like those dolls? Yeah, I never saw it. Hideous. Either. Anyway, but it's not about the dolls. It's about how DEI insanity has infected everything. It used to corrupt only the places where useless people were, like academia or media. But now it's airlines, medical school, and war even landmines. I'm sorry, I'm thinking with landmines, maybe inclusivity shouldn't be anywhere on the list of priorities. The list should be pretty simple. Competence, patience, steady hands, and balls the size of the Las Vegas sphere. <laughs> think of Brian Kilmeade, and then think of someone who's the opposite. <laughs> Got to make landmines funny. Speaking of, before we go any further, we wanted to get a comment from a guy who knows his stuff, Johnny Joey Jones, who lost both his legs as a bomb disposal technician. Not a great one. <laughs> Take it away, Joey. Hey, Greg, just want to let you know you have my full support to make fun of this ridiculous story about gender inclusivity when it comes to taking bombs apart. And just so you know, any gender transformation that happens while taking bombs apart, completely by accident, we didn't mean for that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joey. So on Saturday, Justin Trudeau released a list of Canada's funding for support for Ukraine under a section called, quote, Gender Inclusive Demining for Sustainable Futures in Ukraine. It explains the $4 million will go to manual clearance in targeted communities, but also, quote, Establishing a gender and diversity working group to promote gender transformative mine action in Ukraine. This is insane. So that's quite a goal to add on to the burden of saving lives, including your own. You got to think about this. But it turns out DEI is part of their whole program for clearing landmines around the world. They even published a 75 page document on it. According to the UN Under Secretary General for Peace Operations, Jean-Pierre Lacroix, quote, while these weapons may be indiscriminate, the specific threats and impacts vary according to gender, age, and other aspects of diversity. It is essential that mine action actors are equipped to apply a gender lens as part of a comprehensive and inclusive approach to planning, implementing, and monitoring programs to ensure protection for all and to ensure that no one is left behind. Boom! <laughs> All right, stop right there, LaCroix. I've tasted your flavored waters and I wasn't impressed. <laughs> Why is it everyone named Jean-Pierre is full of crap? <laughs> it's almost as if Jean-Pierre is French for dip <laughs> But look, it's safe to say landmine clearing is dangerous. You have to be right 100% of the time. You can't even be wrong once. It's the opposite of people at the UN who can layer this bull <laughs> on the backs of brave people every day without any risk. They're in an office safely churning out this turd sausage while cashing the checks that taxpayers send them. Still, the UN thinks an inclusive workforce will increase the effectiveness of mine action activities and improve satisfaction at work. I have no idea how they will test this. Work satisfaction? I would assume there's one metric, not dying. <laughs> and if you put diversity before competence, that metric is going to get worse. So DEI has finally reached the mountaintop of risk. And even more, we now include everyone in that risk. But DEI has the same consequences here as it does everyone else, everywhere else, whether it's Harvard or United Air. It has an opportunity cost, meaning the effort placed in this identity-obsessed lens is an effort that should be placed elsewhere, and the risk for disaster will grow. 
It's why it scares us so much that it's wormed its way into med schools. You have students learning more about pronouns than the pancreas, more about trans than transplants. But especially in the arena of clearing landmines, every little bit of idiocy you introduce matters. Of course, landmines blowing up all sorts of people. Yeah, that's true. But does that mean they have to be cleared by all sorts of people? Not really. DEI efforts have a mathematical roadblock. If you choose to fish from a small pond of applicants, you end up running out of qualified fish faster. So you need to fish from the lake, not the pond. Look, does anybody really believe wokeism will make for better landmine clearing? We're talking about diffusing deadly explosives, explosives here, not getting misgendered in an office break room. You think using the right pronouns at work is a minefield? This is an actual <laughs> minefield, people. <laughs> Who benefits from this? Not the people who need landmines cleared. They just want the best people to save them. And the LGBT community, tell them the bomb squad needs trans women. Hell, Leah Thomas would suddenly grow a mustache and douse himself in Old Spice. <laughs> He'd be pretty attractive, too. I'm gonna bring Old Spice back. Yeah. But clearing landmines is just the latest human endeavor to be infected with diversity, equity, and inclusion. Landmines are serious business, but the people making the rules apparently are not serious people. That's leftism for you. Human life is less important than their woke agenda. So what if a few people lose a limb or two to meet a quota? It's worth it to tell yourself you're being inclusive. In this case, DEI might mean you D-I-E. Welcome tonight's guest. As a former spy, his favorite secret gadget was the pocket fisherman. Former CIA operative and host of the President's Daily Brief podcast, Mike Baker. She's such a security expert, she frisks herself at the airport. Former Deputy National Security Advisor, KT McFarland. Like a praying mantis, she has skinny arms, eats bugs, and bites off her lover's heads. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Cat Tip. And he uses the Goodyear blimp as a loofah. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former NWA world champion, Tyrus. Mike, as yeah. a violent and psychotic former CIA agent <laughs> who has had millions of people tortured and brutally murdered, would you I like to millions. see- millions. Well, thousands. Okay, yeah. Would you agree to thousands? Yeah, thousands is Would true. you like to see gender-inclusive tactics in the CIA? Um, you know what, There's this, there is a movement there, yeah. yeah. They're already doing it, and I, I don't want to I don't want to walk into that. Yes. Uh, but, uh, do you, when you, you know, waterboard someone, yeah. do you ask their pronouns first? Well, yeah, otherwise you get in trouble. Yeah, you get, yeah, yeah, yeah then you're, you're taking off the case. <laughs> yes. Um, and then you have to go in for harassment training. It's, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable. It yes. didn't used to be that way at Gitmo. Yeah, uh, no. No, it was a simpler time. Yes. Uh, but, uh, look, the problem, the, the, not the problem, actually, <clears throat> the the uh, unexploded ordinance, right? The landmine. Yeah. What it doesn't care about is whether you're white mm -hmm. or whether you're black or whether you're Hispanic, whether you're gay, whether you're straight or, or wh whatever the other options are. Mm -hmm. I, haven't, I, I haven't kept up on that. Yeah. Um, because that that landmine, as as uh, Joey will tell you, will will up in a completely non-discriminatory way. Right. Right. And. Um, so we, and this is not a perfectly formed thought, but we should all be more like the landmine. Um, mm. Yeah, you see where I'm going with that? Yeah, we should, we should all be like the landmine. We should be like the landmine. Oh. Am, I'm sorry, am I interrupting a call? No, my phone went off. <laughs> you, you actually, for once, <laughs> yeah. made an amazing point. I know, and you missed and it. And my phone went off. It's been, tw I've been doing that, this that for 20 for years. Last time. That was a viewer calling, yeah. I can't believe Mike Baker's yeah. making sense. It I was. Know. <laughs> I know, it was we should all be time. like the landmine. We yeah. shouldn't care yes. what gender or race you That's are. Exactly Thanks, Steve. Right. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll yeah. be home early. Yeah, please stop. So, so how many years have we been doing this together? Uh, like 14 years. Yeah, ago. something yeah. like that. Yeah. And, and that's the first coaching thought I've had with you <laughs> in a long time. And, then, and, and, and it's interrupted. Uh, but anyway, so, so that's my thought there. And the only other thought is with the UN. Look, the UN 
occasionally, I think KT will agree with me, occasionally does good work. But mm -hmm. uh, then there are times, like when they appointed Iran as the chair of a human yeah. rights forum, yeah. or uh, they've allowed UNRWA to be completely populated, not just by sympathizers, but by Hamas supporters, right. uh, that you realize that the UN is essentially a self-serving uh, gaggle of bureaucrats mm -hmm. who are, are are there to promote their own interests, yeah. right? It, it, but you do need a forum where countries can come together and talk. Yeah, it just should be in the United States. Yeah. I say Epstein's Island. KT, <laughs> KT, in terms of diversity, shouldn't we demand that our enemy do the same thing? Shouldn't we call them out, say, if a terror group isn't inclusive? There are no Irish people in the Taliban. I find that offensive. <laughs> do you think they'll listen? Well, maybe not, but they <laughs> probably learned their lesson from the IRA originally. Yeah. Um, look, the problem with this is it's just a jobs program for grifters, mm -hmm. right? DEI grifters who are taking, skimming it off the top yeah. because they're not teaching people how to look for landmines. They're teaching people all this other stuff. So these are all the employees of the UN, which actually has a lot of grifters. Right. In the somebody UN. was paid for that 70 page manual. You bet. And somebody is going to take the hour class to learn all that stuff, and they're not taking the hour-long class to learn how to demobilize a landmine. Ukraine has t probably two million landmines so far that we know of. Mm. There, You have to do each one individually. There's no sort of blanket, blow them all up at the same right. time. Well, you can't, you can't detonate a whole field. You, could, you can yeah, detonate you a whole could, field, yeah, but yeah, they're yeah, farm yeah. fields, yeah. they're school playgrounds. Mm -hmm. they're, it's, it's just the most horrible thing. And to think that these grifters are taking money away when they could be doing programs that would save the little children mm -hmm. who are out playing soccer in those fields is just reprehensible. You know, it's a, we all laugh at the DEI grifters. Ha, ha, ha. But this is where it has actual human it's, casualties, and it's a tragedy. Well, it keeps moving, Kat. I mean, it's, it, I, we used to make fun of this stuff when it was in college campuses, but it's, it's spreading like a disease. <laughs> well... One way that it's different from a disease is I would think it could be, it would stop if anybody bothered to question it, mm -hmm. right? That's how this stuff gets through, because I read through this, and it sounds, like, really confusing, and, like, oh, am I missing something? But really, I'm not missing anything. It's just bull****, right? Yeah. Please. For one person to be like, excuse me, um, gender transformative mind removal. Uh -huh. <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> <laughs> right? But everybody's too scared to do that because they're worried about what, you know, what that they're supposed to, oh, yes, of, co of course, I know a gender transformative mind, of course, land my room, yeah. But, and everybody just goes along with it when anybody who actually just, re it, it's, it's stupid. It doesn't mean anything, really. Mm -hmm. And I think just people have to say that, but people are too afraid to say that. Yeah, and and they, they don't want to look for stupid, it. but really, you look more stupid by acting like this means something which doesn't mean anything at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you call it out, Tyrus, they'll go like, oh, it's just a tiny part of the budget. No. It doesn't matter. No. No. Everybody is, is right and wrong at the same time. Mm -hmm. You're... Is that possible? Yes, <laughs> it is. Be the landmine in this right now. <laughs> Be really quiet and wait for Greg to step on. <laughs> That's the story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> Few of us. But it is a money-making scheme. It is a great hustle, but it is not innocent. It has dire consequences to the people involved. If you are trying to get your DE hires in, which means you have to replace the ones that are already there and probably are men mm -hmm. and either white or probably black, mm -hmm. but they're men, alpha men. And they're going to, so when you put them in these classes, they're going to do like Kat said, like, what the hell is this? Mm -hmm. What does this have to do with saving lives and being on a minefield? Ooh, he's an alpha. It's a little toxic. <laughs> he's out. Yeah. And then their DE replacement will go then who knows the handbook, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who knows the handbook, but then walks out there and goes, uh, what are you doing? I'm making sure there's no mines in the sky. Because <laughs> they have no clue what we're doing. You think I'm making it up? Try flying next to the emergency exit seat right now. You can't give that seat away. Mm -hmm. Because they got rid of the good guys because they asked questions. Mm -hmm. Because the consequences for challenging the woke is your job. And the consequences, what it all comes down to, the, the guy who bet there would be a streaker at the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. He bet it. He bet it. Yep. Yeah. Then he made sure that he was the streaker. Yeah. yeah. So the the woke call out a problem. Yeah. They're the solution. Then yeah. they're the solution. Yeah. 
Yeah. Then they make their money. There's a little consequence for him. He had to pay a $50,000 fine, but he made $375,000. Right. That's the woke. You break a few eggs, ruin some lives. That group, you make money for the single in the name of the group, and you get everybody blown to hell. But to, to Tyrus's point also, real quickly, is, is that it is insidious because the U.N. and, and also every other government agency, uh, international and, and U.S., but also corporations, you're required for any program, for any office, for any, to tick the box to show how this project yeah. or how this program will include this element, this DEI yeah. element. And there's money set aside for, for that. And therefore, yeah, there's a, it, it, it's, it's in your best interest to keep pushing this because that, that's how you make more money. That's and how you, that's how you lose people. your best and brightest. Yeah. Because yeah. your best yeah. and brightest probably have seen some and they're not going to be impolite on the field, as they shouldn't be. All right, up next, Google again denies reality with its partiality. Yeah. If you'll be in the New York area and like tickets to see Gutfeld, go to foxnews.com slash Gutfeld and click on the link to join our studio audience. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.